question. Wanna sing? No. Sure, Tracy. I look at serious. Let's talk about T-Rex. T-Rex. I'm very Let's no. Get serious I'm and serious. talk about. Uh, Let's okay. talk about T-Rex. So at our contributor days, we talked to a lot of folks. We talked to the Angular folks. Uh, we talked with folks from Facebook and and all over. And one of the things that that came out of it, mostly from the Angular folks, was that, was that uh, we needed to try to reduce the size of ArxJS. So ArxJS five weighs in at about. You include every operator, it's like 33K GZIP or something like that. Um, so uh, what, what I did, uh, just last week even, actually, was, was go through and kind of implement a whole bunch of ideas that I had to shrink it down kind of all at once. It's currently in a private repo, it's not public or anything right, right now yet, but I was able to get uh, the majority of, of uh, Rx into a library that is about it's under three three K GZIP, so it's like ten times smaller, uh, and it should it should even be faster. So we need to get some perf, perf benchmarks on it, but it should be faster because I, I was able to do some of the things I wanted to do, like move all of the error handling that was happening throughout RX into one centralized spot, which means that uh, V8 would be able to inline all of the other functions and not have to deal with um, uh, these deoptimized functions that you get if you have a try catch block in a function. So it, it should be pretty fast. Uh, I don't know if it's going to be as fast because there was other there was other um, things that I had to do where I had to make compromises to make things smaller. But um, the, I'm hoping that things balance each other out. So it'll be a, roughly the same speed, but but about ten times smaller. Does Arx do anything to take advantage of Angular's compiler, or do you see anything? Not not necessarily. Uh, if anything, you know, Rx used in conjunction with Angular's compiler would be pretty good. If we were able, I, ideal, my ideal use case for Angular uh, as someone likes to do a lot of reactive programming would be to be able to get Angular's template compiler and just be able to use it at build time to produce functions that were able to handle like here's, here's some observable or here's some uh, updates to state. I know exactly what to update in the DOM based mm -hmm. off of this compiled template. Uh, because it would ship, it would be very lightweight. So there's there's a thing right now called Svelte that does this, where uh, you can build out a whole component and it runs. You run a build time process on it, and it, you end up with these very very small functions that are your whole app. So if that's the case, then you would end up with an application, a, a, a fairly decently sized application, might weigh in at about three or four k gzip, mm -hmm. and then that in combination with this T Rex uh, rewrite of of RxJS would would mean that you would have you know, if you're only using the minimal operator footprint that you cared about, it would be uh, like 2K, maybe 1.5K gzip of RX plus, you know, 4K or so of, of whatever came from that template compiler. And then you're, you're looking at a fairly decent full featured app that's weighing in at 5K G, gzip, which would be really phenomenal. I love the fact that uh, the conversations at Contributor Days were able to contribute to something like TRX. <laughs> yeah, yeah. The the name the name's all you there. Yeah, T Rex, <laughs> T -Rex. and Shame Shapedness. <laughs> Shame Shapedness. These two things are sticking. These are my contributions to Angular. Yeah. Or sorry, R X. What about? Have you been interviewed today? I don't want to be interviewed. You don't want to? What did you? We did a talk together. We did do a talk together. <laughs> we did do a talk together. Oh, bad. You, like you almost? I almost forgot about that. That talk. Uh, How long did we work on the talk? Oh. Uh, <sighs> it was a 20 minute long talk that took how long to make? Do you think? It took at least 40 hours. At, at least at least 40 hours. I think I spent that much on by myself. So it's probably like 80 hours. Yeah. Between the two of us. Uh-huh. Mm -hmm. What did you did think? How did again? it go? How did it go? <laughs> Would we do it again? Um, it went really well. We should do it again to capitalize on oh, all the time. Oh, we're doing it again. Spent. We're doing the same talk again. <laughs> yes. Would we do an intense talk of that again from the ground up? I mean, Maybe out, we, we, we walked out of that room, and everyone there was like, great job, Tracy. I know. It's like you weren't even on stage. I know. Okay, I could have not shown up. I could have just... I could have hid behind you. They're scared to talk to you, Ben. We could have done no. We could have done the thing where you put your arms behind your backs. You, you put your arms behind your back, and I reach my arms through, 
and I could be your arms, and I could just hid behind you. Maybe we can do that for the next talk. Have you ever seen that gag? What? I think you're better that? off singing with me. Okay. I'm an NG girl. I'll just sing with in you. In a framework world. Okay, let's get serious. Um, ben, why are you always throwing us off track? I don't know. That's what I Doing do. Doing things like not talking about T-Rex. Yeah, I'm reactive. That's I really fine. like this T-Rex thing. This pun. It is the best name. I just punned at you. I like reacting. No, I, I, I was I was being too busy reactive. observing you <laughs> to um, react to that. That's good. Testing. Testing. One, two, three. <laughs> <laughs> I am stoked on ang uh, Angular. RX is Angular. Angular is RX. Uh, I wouldn't go that far. I am so stoked on T-Rex's testing suite. Is it going to be T-Rex's testing suite or RX's testing it's suite? It's going to be RX's test suite. There's been work started on productizing RX's test suite multiple times. Yes. And the, the problems around doing it are right now, uh, RX, RX runs a battery of more than uh, 2,500 tests in a matter of like a second. Mm -hmm. uh, and what we have is we have this test scheduler that enables you to run all of these synchronous tests on things that would normally run asynchronously and do it in a deterministic way, meaning that you're guaranteed that th something that's going to fire at 100 milliseconds is going to fire at, you know, before something that's going to supposed to fire at 101 milliseconds or something like Where if you're just using set timeout or something, those things might switch over top of each other. So we've got these, this great test suite. However, it makes a lot of assumptions based off the fact that we only really use it in RX's like core library. And okay. so we've been trying to productize this for a while. And, and, and multiple very smart people have taken cracks at, like, how do we make this better for other folks? And most of the efforts have either stalled or fall, fallen short around things like, well, what do you do if you have an observable that runs for three days? Like, do you, you don't want to sit there and type these little marble ASCII dots, um, you know, and fill up multiple gigs. Well, you could generate a string, but then it's not quite as readable and so on right. and so forth. So there's all of these, these things that make it really hard to deal with. Like, it's not easy to solve problems like that. And then, you know, what if some operator uses some uh, scheduler like the async scheduler hardwired in by default? We have to kind of automatically patch it to use the test scheduler and not itself because otherwise you're going to jump out of your test scheduler and not be able to test synchronously and all these other things. So there's a lot of really challenging problems to solve in there. And with uh, the T with T Rex, I was able to rewrite the schedulers. So if I'm able to rewrite the schedulers, then that meant that I have a brand new virtual scheduler and I was able to wrap that in a, in a different uh, function. It's like a higher order function that gives me access to everything I need for testing, automatically patches and sets up the other schedulers so they, they work in an expected way with your test scheduling and all this other stuff. So it, it was like a fresh slate in order to, to try to build some of this stuff. But we still might circle back and just add it to RxJS5. It makes me so happy every time you say T-Rex. T-Rex? Should I do it like this? Yes. With T-Rex. <laughs> um, I'm also, so when you talk about the test suite, all I hear are excuses. So mean. So mean. It's true. It is, it is true. It is true. I think so, you need a JavaScript mother. Yeah. Until you get on it. What I, actually, what I need is, <laughs> is more time. And more open source contributors yeah, for and more, this. And more contributors. Yeah. And, and it's hard in particular, this particular problem is not something that your average uh, uh, contributors right. is going to be able to jump into RX and solve because it's like really core, like you yeah. need to know the schedulers and, and how they work. And it's, right. not, it's not a trivial piece of code yeah. to wrap your head around. So, yeah. mm. Mm. so that's, that's hard to get contributors for that. But I, I, can, if can, contributors can free up other time, then maybe I, I can get to um, it. I remember a few months back, you were talking about this new architecture that's going to make RX so much more amazing. T-Rex. OK, so T-Rex is what you were talking about a few yeah. months ago, yeah. come to fruition. And you discussed that a little bit in uh, Contributor Days, that there was going to be this new um, RX architecture that you could do. I'm so happy that these things came together yeah, yeah. like that. Yeah, so it's, there's still a lot of work to do. There's a lot of tests to be written. Uh, we want to make sure that. Because it is, uh, it is a drastic rewrite, it's not something we're just going to plant on top of Rx today. Right. Like, there needs to be a graceful transition over to mm -hmm. what this new thing looks like and how it's shaped. 
Um, and you know, there's there's a long process to to making the other thing as correct as what currently exists too. I mean, 2,500 tests, most of which we'll be able to port over, but some of which might change a little bit during that process just because of either renaming or restructuring or like scheduler changes or things like that. I think open source is hard because. I look, for example, in learning RxJS at the docs and say, I want to rewrite the docs. Do it. And then I think about the idea of having a life and not wanting to spend 40 to 60 hours doing this. Don't tell anybody else who's listening to this and yeah. they want to rewrite the docs, then yeah. If they, they want should, to rewrite the docs, they should rewrite the docs. Yes, rewrite the docs. Yes, yeah. rewrite the docs. <laughs> Whatever you do, just please rewrite the docs. <laughs> uh, well, we've actually we've actually had some pretty good contributions around that. Right. I think what it is is like the UI of the docs is not very yes. easy for people to use. Aren't like, you a UI engineer? I am, but I'm a UI engineer with a finite amount of time on his hands. What? Crazy. What? Well, I got to come do interviews and talks and stuff. It's very, it's very busy life. <laughs> Care with me on RxJS. Right. It's songs. Write songs with right Tracy. Songs. Yeah. <laughs> High five. Right. Thank Great. you. Thank you for coming on. Can we find you on the internet? Yes. Where? Everywhere. I, I work at Google now, so. At Ben Lesh. Yes, at Ben Lesh on Twitter. And GitHub. And GitHub. What's your personal phone number? It's uh, 614. Are you really going to get it? No. <laughs> You mean I don't answer it half the time What's anyway. What's that 180 so. song? 404? 8675309. Uh, see, I knew you would let me down. Because I'm old. Thank you for coming. <laughs> right. Thank you. Hey there. Are you into reactive programming using JavaScript? Do you have to deal with asynchrony in your web app? Then join this dot instructor, Ben Lesh, to learn all of the ins and outs of RxJS in his hands-on workshop. Available online and in person, Go to rxworkshop.com for more details and to book your spot today.